Hi, this is Chatty Dad One for Nuke the News Media. There's a lot of stories that's going on that aren't being talked about. Right now in the world, we've got major fish and animal die-offs happening all the time. We've got people getting flesh-eating disease from the Gulf of Mexico and other places. We have heat waves, record heat waves, and people are dying. We have storms that like we've never seen before. We have clouds that we've never seen before. The earth is in turmoil. There's weather that is just unreal. The Gulf Stream has stopped. The jet stream is going out of control. We have earthquakes in strange places. I mean, stuff that's talked about in the Bible is going on right now. We have people that have blown the Boston bombings wide open, proved them to be a total fabrication and nothing but a drill. We have people that have proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that the Trevon Martin Zimmerman case was nothing more than to cause a race war within these United States. We have problems on YouTube, people bickering back and forth. We have the truth being assaulted like it's never been assaulted before. There are those out there who uh, don't want to help others. They will step on anybody trying to get to the top. People's YouTube channels being shut down. There's things going on in the heavens. The sun is very, very bizarre behaviors coming from the sun. Um, harp technology. We have Morgellons syndrome running rampant. There's reports of rabies everywhere. There's problems. When I see uh, um, for instance when I throw some potato chips out on the ground and I live out in the country and the ants eat all of the seasoning and spices off of the potato chip but will not touch the potato chip itself something is wrong something's wrong there and you know and we just we just carry on there's a slow bleed that's happening to us. They're bleeding us very, very slowly. They do not want a middle class to emerge from this from this homemade crisis. Americans <clears throat> are now being targeted and killed, murdered by the federal government without even getting a trial. There's been people who have turned up missing and put away in indefinite detention for who knows how long. We just heard a story on a guy who had to drink his own urine because he was left in the cell with the DEA for several days. Um, like I said, the guy in the Fort Hood massacre isn't even being tried as a terrorist even though he jumped up and yelled Allah Akbar and started shooting everybody. And this guy should be held as a traitor and a terrorist and should be executed. But no, they're not going to do that for him. They're going to treat him with kid gloves. We have a president who claimed to be a Christian for a good long time and now embraces his Muslim faith, which, good, embrace your faith, President Obama. I embrace mine. 
but don't tell everybody that you're a Christian when you're not. I mean, there's so many things happening. The world is more concerned about what the uh, prince and princess is going to name their child than they're concerned about what's going to happen with this earth and with our world. We've got military buildup from Russia and China gearing up against the United States for war. We now are in danger of losing the homeland here because they've signed an agreement which states that if we default on our loan payments that they can take land here in the United States. Cities are going bankrupt. Chinese government is buying up parts of Detroit. We have the NSA prying into people's lives and recording everything we see and do and hear. But yet, they can't see certain things and do certain things and, you know, people elude them. We've had martial law implemented on an entire city. <clears throat> And no one said a word. They terrorized Watertown, Massachusetts, looking for two teenage boys. One man held in the FBI's custody was killed. They claimed he had a knife here in Florida. There's a lot of things wrong. There's a lot of things going down. And there's a lot of things not being reported on. And that's a shame. That is an absolute shame. Um, you know, we have, I think, Yahoo uh, bought the uh, New York Times or, uh, I'm not sure who, who bought it, but uh, yeah, they bought it bought the newspaper there's some serious stuff going down we ha are being infiltrated from our southern borders like never before there's places at the Mexican border where they can get water and has instructions written in Chinese Spanish and English. We have foreign troops now stationed on American soil. There is so many things wrong right now with this country and with the American people. The American people are too concerned with the NFL, the NBA, Dancing with the Stars, reality TV shows and the lame stream media and what they're feeding them to go outside and look up in the sky and see the chemtrails that's being painted across the sky the amount of illnesses has increased exponentially here in the last few years and, and nobody knows why. It's a slow kill. They're going to bleed us, bleed us, bleed us, till there's no middle class and there's no one to resist. Because the resistors will be mostly the middle class. There are going to be some in the high class who will be resistors and freedom fighters and patriots but the majority of America's patriots are of the middle and lower class but when you get to where you're in the low class you don't have any funds to be able to do anything because they designed it that way we have major problems with the system that they're pushing on us right now 
and it seems like no one cares. Think about this. Think about it. I don't believe there's going to be an all-instant crash one day. I think they're going to slowly, slowly, slowly push prices up. And slowly, slowly, the middle class will disappear. Then there will be nobody but the rich and the poor. And those among the poor who will be lucky enough to serve the rich will be loyal to the rich. And that's when they're going to come in and chip us, put us in FEMA camps. Because we won't be able to resist at that point. We'll be too sick, too weak, and too tired. But anyway, that's my take on what I believe is going down. And there's a lot of things that are happening that they're not letting us know about and that they're not telling. But it's a very, very well devised plan. And they're not going to win in the end. Freedom will win in the end. Goodness will win in the end not evil. They may have one over on us now, but it won't be forever. It won't be for long. Be cautious of any religion that deals with if you don't join, then you die or become a slave. That's how Satan thinks. That's how the devil thinks. Anyhow, that's my take on it. I believe we're in a slow kill, and we've been in it for a while now. And it's going to continue, and it's going to get worse, and it's going to get harder. They're going to continue to beat us with heart-produced weather phenom anomalies, and earthquakes, and all kind of man-caused troubles and disasters. But we need to be strong and resilient as much as possible. Do your best. Be good to yourself and your loved ones. Help one another. Let's prove them wrong about the human spirit. Keep whatever faith that you believe in. Hold to it. And always question those things that don't sound right. I love y'all. Hope you're doing well. And uh, having a great day. Share this message with everybody. And uh, let's just prepare and do our best. This is Chatty Dad 1 for Nuke the News Media. Over and out.